I've spent thousands of dollars testing almost every pair of AR glasses on the market so you don't have to. From budget entry-level pairs to $1,100 setups that literally replace your laptop, I'm breaking down the best picks at every single price point. We're going to find out which ones have the best giant screen experience, which ones stay the coolest on your face, and which ones are just a waste of money. I stayed up all night filming this, so if you appreciate the grind, hit that subscribe button right now to join the tech family. Everything we talk about is linked in the description below. Let's start with the $100 to $200 bracket. Let's be real, there are no good AR glasses under $100. I checked eBay used markets, nothing. The real journey starts at $189 with the Rainio Air 3S. This is the baseline. You get a 135 inch virtual screen, 1810p resolution and 650 nits of brightness. Now it doesn't have electrochromic dimming, meaning the lenses stay at a fixed shade, but for under $200, it's a solid entry into the world of AR, the game changer. If you can find a used Viter Pro for $199, take it. Why? Because it jumps to 4,000 nits of brightness. That's an insane upgrade for just 10 bucks. Plus it works with the Spacewalker app, giving you a virtual triple monitor setup on your MacBook. If you're on a tight budget, but want to do actual work, the used Viter Pro is the hidden king of this bracket, the sweet spot, 200 to $400. Moving into the 200 to $300 range, there is one pair that absolutely dominates. The Rainio Air 3S Pro at $249. I use these everywhere, planes, cafes, you name it. Why? Because Rainio is the only brand that has solved the heating issue. Most AR glasses get hot on the arms after 30 minutes. Not these, they stay cool. You get 1,200 nits of brightness, which is double the standard version, and the nine level nose pad adjustment means they actually fit your face comfortably. At $329, we hit the Rokid Max 2. This is where the screen gets bigger. We move from a 135 inch view to a 147 inch view. It also has the best prescription support, going down to minus 6.00 diopters. If you have bad eyesight and don't want to wear contacts under your AR glasses, the Rokid Max 2 is your best friend. The Pro category, $400 to $600. Now we're talking high-end visuals. At $449, we have the X Real one. This was the first pair I ever tested, and the Bose-tuned audio still blows me away. But the real reason to buy the X Real one is the X1 chip. It allows you to shrink the screen and pin it in a corner. Imagine cooking while watching a YouTube video that's pinned to your wall in 3D space. That's the X1 magic. If you want the biggest screen possible, look at the Viter Beast at $549. It has a 58 degree field of view which is equivalent to a 174 inch screen. It's massive. It's like sitting in the front row of an IMAX theater. If you want pure immersion, the beast name isn't just marketing, it's the truth. The Elite Suites, 700 to $1,100. This is for the power users, the people who want to leave the laptop at home. First, the Viter Luma Ultra Plus Neckband, $848. This is a standalone system. The neckband runs Android, meaning you don't even need a phone. It has an AI assistant, full six degrees of freedom tracking, and it feels like you're in a VR world, but with glasses that only weigh 83 grams. It's the closest thing to smart glasses in an AR body. And finally, the Anaive 2 Elite Suite, $899 on sale. This is insane. It comes with a pod and a Bluetooth keyboard. It can run six virtual screens at once. Yes, six. It has infinite step dimming, so you can adjust the lens darkness from 1% to 100% with a slider. It's not just a gadget, it's a full-blown mobile workstation. So which one should you actually buy. Viter Pro, used at $199. Rainio Air 3S Pro, $249 because it never gets hot. Xreal One, $449 for the screen customization. Viter Luma Ultra with the neckband. I spent 24 hours straight testing and filming this for you. If you have any questions about diopters, field of view, or compatibility with your specific phone, drop a comment. I'm going to spend the next few hours replying to as many as I can. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check the links below for the latest prices. I'll see you in the next one.